The truth about politics is that there are several layers of illusion within politics. At the bottom level, the message that they want the masses to get, really, although they publicly say we, we need to get out and vote and they encourage everyone to vote, the message that they are really sending to the masses is your vote is meaningless. That's what they're subconsciously sending to them. And there is plenty of evidence of this. They want them to feel powerless. The next level of society, those of the general taxpaying class and those also involved with the government and politics themselves, what they want them to believe is you have power. You have power, your vote counts, but you better really pay attention because there's a lot of corruption going on. That's the message they're driving to them. It matters whether there's a Democrat or Republican in power. Of course, this is a huge deception as those actually controlling the country are not ever put up for public vote. <laughs> they're not in the public eye at all and they never change positions. That's why nothing ever gets done clearly. But here's the biggest truth about politics that I've realized as I've come more and more to see everything through the lens of personal responsibility granted by the spiritual path. And what, it, what I've realized about politics is that the reason that there are so many greedy, deceitful, self-serving people in politics is because there's so many greedy, self-serving people in the world. Were this not the case, it would not be reflected in our leaders. How could we possibly expect anything else from our leaders when the average person is willing to act in this way? And, and because the shadow is reflected out there for us so that we can see it, so that we can integrate it and understand its role. Everything serves a purpose. I, 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 I just this morning realized the purpose that hoaxers serve, that people who are actually magicians but pretend to be spiritualist, you know, who are defrauding, sorry, someone was walking on the stairs, but some people who are defrauding people by pretending to contact loved ones or know about the psychic worlds. And, you know, when you first get on the spiritual path, you think this is a horrible thing. This is a horrible thing. But it serves a, a spiritual purpose, I see now, because for the third density world, for the world of people caught in the belief that the material world is all there is, they have no spiritual vision. They don't believe in any spiritual things. So for them, the closest they can ever see to a miracle or a spiritual phenomenon is a fraud. And while it may discourage some, for others, it will ignite within them the belief in the unknown, in the mysterious, and then lead them to the real thing. All things serve a purpose. Love and love.